with the Kitchen of Eden. Today we're going to be making Rise and Shine muffins. They're a great muffin for breakfast or a snack in the mid-afternoon. Uh, the first thing we need to do to start the muffins is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So let's go over and do that now. <clears throat> First, we need to line a 12 cup muffin pan. Um, you can, if you don't have muffin liners, you can just spray it with um, cooking spray. All right, so we'll set the muffin pan aside and you're gonna need two mixing bowls, one for the wet and one for the dry ingredients. We'll start off with the dry ingredients. You're gonna need two cups of flour. <clears throat> Soda. We're going to need two teaspoons of baking soda. Oh, I don't have my hand in here. <laughs> All right, two teaspoons of baking soda. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Salt, or you can just use your judgment. All right, so we're going to mix that together. shredded the, the um, carrots in the apples but simply just use a um, cheese grater just like this and, and um, grate or shred the um, carrots to get a nice mixture like this okay so to this flour mixture we're going to add the two cups of carrots all right one whole apple shredded, peeled, cored, and shredded. <clears throat> and um, raisins, half a cup of raisins. Raisins can get sticky. All right. Okay, so half a cup of raisins. And a half a cup of the shredded coconut. Okay, next we're going to add the uh, chopped walnuts and then lastly for the dry mixture it would be the half a cup of the sweetened flake coconut flakes so you can use unsweetened or sweetened All right. so we'll mix this together it's basically coating all the uh, moist ingredients for the flour mixture. Just try to get them separated. You don't want clumps of carrots or apples. Alright, it's pretty
pretty much coated now. So now we're going to take the smaller of the two bowls and we're going to do the wet ingredients. So we're going to beat them well. We'll start off with three eggs. coconut oil, those are the best um, to be baking with. Uh, you could use vegetable or canola oil as well. Those aren't as good for you as these oils. wet ingredient would be the two tablespoons of the vanilla extract. Okay, and I'm going to take a whisker and whisk that together very well. As you can see, it's a very hearty mixture. It smells delicious. You can smell the cinnamon and the fruits. So now it's fully mixed, and we're going to fill the muffin pan. And I'm going to use just a tablespoon to spoon it into the muffin tin. Okay, so now we've evenly distributed the batter into the 12 muffin tins. And um, as you can see, it, they are completely full because you're gonna have a muffin top. Um, so we're gonna bake this for 20 minutes on the 350 and we'll be back. Okay, now it's been about 30 minutes. I know I said 20 earlier, but um, because of the size of the muffins and the thickness of the muffins, we had to let it go a little bit longer. So at 30 minutes, I did a t um, t toothpick test, um, and they're perfect now. So I'm gonna take them out, and 
One second, need another glove. All right. <clears throat> so here they are. And I'll do a toothpick test with you so you can see that it is fully cooked. So it took 30 minutes. I will change that in my recipe. But if you see it, it comes out clean. At the 20 minutes, it was coming out gooey. So 30 minutes, I will change that. And here you have them, rise and shine muffins.